In problem two, when we're dealing with joint ownership or undivided interest with the same royalty interest, let's look at the problem. And it says Tracy, Liz, and Jenna own an equal, an equal undivided interest. Equal undivided interest. Sorry, can't see my pen to work. An equal undivided interest in 80 acres. So they each own an equal, so they each own one third. They lease their land to Rocky Drilling for a 3 16 royalty interest. So they all have the same royalty interest. So in order to determine what is the net revenue interest, we're going to take the royalty interest times the mineral interest, and that's going to equal our net revenue interest. So the royalty interest in this case is a 3 16 which is a point one eight seven five. And it's the same for all of them. It's the same for Tracy. It's the same for Liz. And it's the same for Jenna. So they each have a point one eight seven five. And their mineral interest is an equal undivided. So their mineral interest is one third. But let's get the exact decimal, 1 divided by 3, is going to be 0 0.33333. So that's going to be a 0 0.333. And that just means that repeats. So we'll do that for each of these. Now, usually what we do when we're, um, I'll give you a little insider secret here, but when we have, you know, three, that's not going to equal to 100. So we'll make one of these, we'll pick a lessor that we're going to give an extra uh, decimal interest to. But it, we're just adding a four at the very end of this. So it's really not giving them anything. But sometimes you do get calls like, well, how come my sister got a bigger interest and I have a 3-3 three, three and she has a 3-4? So what we would do in that case, well, we would just then um, pick one of them to have the four interest. Um, and that way it'll equal out to 100. Now, I usually pick, uh, I mean, this is just totally random and has nothing to do with anything, but I usually try to pick a woman because I think, you know, she has less earning power, um, you know, if you look at the national statistics. And so that's just my bias, I guess. Um, but you can pick any one, but it kind of helps if you sort of have a rule to go by. Um, and so we're going to take that 3 16 and multiply it by that one third, and that's going to give us our net revenue interest. So we've already got the one third in there. Now I'm going to multiply that by this 3 16 so this 0.1875. And that's going to give me a decimal or a net revenue interest of 0.0625. So that if we multiply 0 0.0625 times 3, yeah, we get the exact 0 0.1875. So I don't even need to do that. And that's going to be 0 0.1875, which is the same as 3 16 So that's how you know it's correct. So at this point, we're not dealing with pooling, but we will in the next chapter. So for right now, I just want you to recognize that if you have a royalty owner that owns with someone else as a co-tenant, that's going to reduce the amount of their royalty by the their mineral interest percentage. So that's how we're getting these net revenue interest. So then let's move on to that chapter.